How do you make this? This, 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 and these. All of my projects started with a single breadboard design. But how do you use a breadboard? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a breadboard. Today, we're going to cover how breadboards work, what they're used for, how to make simple circuits, and explore them inside and out. So be sure to watch this video until the end, and then you'll be able to make simple circuits. And with practice, more advanced circuits. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. First, we're going to cover the use of a breadboard. A breadboard's use is to prototype circuits, and usually will be replaced with a PCB. Projects such as this were prototyped with a breadboard. But before we get too advanced, let's back up to the basics of how they work. Breadboards have a series of rails running across them that bridge and connect inputted wires. But what does that look like? As we take a look inside the breadboard, it becomes easier to see the rails. These metal rails run across the breadboard and attach wires that are inputted into the holes. But placement is crucial. As you can see, the rails in the center run horizontal and the rails on the outside run vertical. However, since it's split down the middle, these two rails won't connect. The vertical rails are marked positive and negative to make it easier. So let's add our power source. The red wire is always positive and black is negative. Since both these rails are vertical, we can add the positive and negative wires. And in doing so, the positive and negative rails will extend throughout the whole breadboard. As you can see, the vertical rails will extend across. Now we can add an LED. And don't forget the longer end will always be positive. Since these are the horizontal rows, this row will all be connected. Now when we add the LED, the shorter end will go to the negative rail, and the positive end in one of the center holes. Now the negative end of the LED will be connected to the negative end of the power source. Now these two pins will be connected. Now we're going to add a resistor. Since resistors don't have polarities, it doesn't matter which way they're oriented. One end will go across from the LED, and one end will go to the positive rail. Now this rail is connected, and the circuit is complete. Now the positive rail and the resistor are connected, the negative rail and the LED are connected, and the resistor and the LED are connected. Now we can turn on our power source, and as you can see, the LED will light up. And that's all there is to it. Overall, breadboards aren't very complex and they're very easy to use. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And be sure to leave a comment letting me know what tutorial I should do next. And in time, you'll be able to make awesome circuits. Plus some projects such as these. And with that said, I will see you guys in my next video.